ML Carr capped his remarkable collegiate season by leading Guilford to the 1973 NAIA National Championship in his senior season. During his senior season, Carr led Guilford to a 29-5 record by averaging 18.4 points and 12.5 rebounds and was named first team NAIA All-American and was named to the All-Tournament team. For his career, Carr scored 1,993 points, led Guilford to the NAIA's national semifinals as a freshman, the national championship as a senior, and was a two-time NAIA All-Tournament selection and a first-team NAIA All-American. For his accomplishments, he was named as a member of the NAIA's 50th and 75th anniversary teams. M.L. Carr, Guilford, and inductee into the 2018 class of the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame. Thank you. One thing for sure, with an introduction like that, I know I'm not in LA. <laughs> Let me first thank John and the committee for this incredible uh, honor. I like to name some names. C Coach Jack Jensen, Coach Bud Dunning, teammates Teddy East, Steve Hanking, Raymond Massingale, Greg Jackson. Robert Fulton, Greg Speeds, Johnny Rawls, Robert Kent, and World Be Free. He was Lord Free at that time. <laughs> I accept this award on their behalf because as we know in sports, you don't do it by yourself. Uh, guys made sacrifices for me to be able to do what I did at Guilford, and to go on to the NBA. And I never forgot that. I think back to the NAIA championship, Kansas City, 1973, unranked, but we believed in what we had. World B3 was unbelievable. He averaged 30 points over a five-night tournament. Teddy East, where you may not hear about again. I like to see him up here because he deserved to be here. He had 18 rebounds. He was 6'3", and nine steals in the championship game. He gave up his scoring abilities. He sacrificed that for World B Free, who wanted the ball, and myself and others. So it's hard to be up here without recognizing my teammates. And when we was fortunate enough in 1984 to beat the Lakers in the NBA finals, someone asked me, this has got to be the best. This has got to be the best that you've experienced in sports. My response was this, it rivals the best moment. We expected a win against the Lakers as great as they were. It rivals that night in Kansas City because we came together as a team we knew we could do something very special. It had never been done. It was the first national championship for Guilford College. We had an opportunity to lead some young guys. World was a freshman, but he was a great player. We had a, other young players. But Teddy and myself, we were the leaders of the club. And we were determined, whatever it took, to make sure that we got that championship because it was our last chance. So one of the greatest feelings in the world was able to, to be able to bring a national championship to Guilford College. 
I'll never forget the feeling. 81 was a great year when I was part of my first NBA championship. 84 was a great year. But it was no better than 1973. Small college basketball put me on a path. The institution that I was fortunate enough to be a part of, Guilford College, even allowed me to come back. You know, back in 1969 when the coaches came and said to my parents, all we can do is promise you that we'll do everything for him to make sure he gets his degree. It's what sold us on Guilford College. And when they said, we're going to give you a four-year scholarship, that was music to my parents' ears because they didn't have any money. But I recognized when I became a member of the Board of Trustees at Guilford College that what they said in 69 was a scholarship. I reminded them that it was a deferred payment. <laughs> you get it. You get it. But not unlike you and all the athletes that's in the room, there is an expectation when you are fortunate enough to go to school, have the interaction that you have, the fun that you have, the ability to better yourself uh, from an intellectual standpoint. It's an incredible opportunity. But there comes responsibility with that. And as I left Guilford College in 1973, the last words that I heard from the college was, now go out and change the world. It puts you on a path to something higher than yourself. So I'm honored to stand before you tonight on behalf of those players and coaches that I mentioned. I accept this award humbly because believe me, it was a great path, and it was a great time. So I thank the vision that John, you, and the committee had, and I'm honored to be going in with this group. What an incredible opportunity this is. Thank you so much, and thank you for allowing me to be a part of it. Thank you very much. <laughs>